Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about my day one of meal planning and kind of just inform you on what I am expecting of myself um, and what I'm going to be trying to do for this new weight loss journey that I am trying to be on. <laughs> um, let's face it, all of us are trying to better ourselves in some way. And in my way, it happens to be my weight and my health. So if you'd like to hop on the bandwagon and join me, that would be awesome. We can support each other in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I post. Um, there will be different videos, you know, obviously just like before in the history of my channel on um, the last, I believe, five months. Um, so look out for that. But for right now, it's going to be very weight loss related just because that is the biggest part of my life right now other than the wedding. So we'll get into that in another video. <laughs> but for today, we are going to meal plan and kind of just talk. So let's jump right into it. I am starting off with breakfast. Usually my breakfast every day is about the same. It's usually two eggs. I might start trying to do the egg whites though, just because that's like healthier from what I've heard. Um, a cup of frozen vegetables, a cup of spinach. Um, I have my pad and pen right here to write it down. Um, some feta because it adds good flavor and I like feta. <laughs> Um, what else? I add a little bit of onion powder for some flavor as well. Um, and then just like a dash of skim milk. So that will be, um, for breakfast. And then for snack, I'm, I usually get stuck on snacks and lunch. Um, I love peanut butter. I don't like yogurt that much. So that's kind of where like, you, you know, everybody's always like, oh, put yogurt with a bunch of fruit and like that type of stuff. But I'm just not the biggest fan of that. So I'm going to do, um, cottage cheese. And also, I'm sorry if you hear Hunter barking in the background, there's people working outside. So he's going crazy. Um, with a cup of pineapple with a little bit of salt. It's so good. Hunter. So a cup of pineapple and a pinch of salt. So that can be one snack. Um, other ideas that I have are like apples and peanut butter. That's just very basic and peanut butter. Um, other ones are <sighs> peppers um, are good snacks. I love peppers all of a sudden. Peppers with a little bit of ranch. Mm. Honestly, any vegetable with ranch, carrots, that type of stuff. Um, with ranch, I do, I get the fat free ranch, uh, because it's better for you, obviously. What other, I love those P3 protein packs. Those are really good too. Let's see. What else? I don't like oatmeal. Um, I don't like cliff bars. <sighs> I'm trying, and this is where I get stuck because then it's like, okay, well, what else can I have? Um, if you guys have any ideas for snacks, please let me know. So that's one, two, three, four. That's about five snacks. That should be good for me to like rotate throughout the week. So then lunch, I also get kind of stuck. Um, so I love rotisserie chicken. I love grilled chicken. Um, so I can make all different sorts of salads. So we'll do salads on there. Um, I can do like a stir fry with the chicken stir fry and vegetables. So I love vegetables. Um, I did see something that was you cut open a pepper so that you have um, each side open like an open face and you put uh, tuna. So we could do pepper open face tuna. Um, and with maybe like some little bit of fat free cheese. That would be good. Mm. Um, or we could do, see, this is what happens is I start to think about things. I'm like, oh, this would go well together. This would go well together. This would go well together. And then I kind of get overwhelmed because I have too many options. Does that happen to anybody else? <laughs> we could do tuna on a lettuce wrap. Lettuce wrap. Um, what else? What else are good lunch options? Hmm. Let's see. I don't really like um, much, much fish, so like salmon and stuff, and I'm actually allergic to shellfish, so I kind of just stay away from that. Um, 
What else? Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what else I used to like bring with me to work and stuff. This is where I get stuck because I don't want like the same thing every single day. I want something that I'm able to make like the night before or like even like on a Sunday for the entire week and that won't like go bad and stuff. So if you have any other ideas for snacks and lunches, please let me know. Um, so for dinners, because my mom is the one who is home first every single night, she usually cooks um, dinner so that by the time all of us get home, it's ready to just kind of eat. Uh, she always cooks really healthy things. Uh, chicken she like you know uh, always has a vegetable side and things like that so I'm not too worried about that it's mainly the snacks and the lunches that I'm worried about because I am a snacker I like to snack throughout the day so please please leave suggestions down below of snacks that are healthy but also will satisfy like you know a um sweet tooth or like a crunch factor that type of thing so now that the meal planning is out of the way um I wouldn't just call it so much planning yet more so just like strategizing <laughs> um because I will go through later and I will make an actual list um of what I'm going to be eating that day and add the calories total calories that type of thing um maybe I'll make like a spreadsheet and then leave a link to it below if you guys want to follow it or kind of like see let me know if that sounds like a good idea because I can definitely do that but now I want to talk a little bit about my strategy and my plan for the next week. Um, I'm going to give myself mini goals every week just because I'm the kind of person that always thinks about the future and always thinks about things as long term. And me and my therapist keep talking and we're agreeing that I need to start looking at things as short term. So I'm going to do this for about a week, you know, four days to a week to kind of just get myself used to it. I will rotate out these meals and track my calories and I'm going to try to implement some sort of exercise. I'm active throughout the day, but it's no um, set routine schedule of like dedicated exercise. So I'm going to try to do that for two hours throughout the week. Um like a total of two hours. So like maybe walk for a half an hour on one day and then do like a workout video for half an hour another day um, or work out one hour for two days. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be like, you're going to walk and do 12 push-ups every single day. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because I'm afraid I'll burn myself out too fast. So I do have the insanity videos um, downstairs on Tim's PlayStation. So maybe one day I could do one of those videos and then the next day I could go for a 30 minute walk. But I am going to try really hard to implement more exercise and more movement throughout the day. Another thing I'm going to try really hard to do is to wake up earlier than I'm waking up. Right now I wake up at about seven um, and that leaves me about a half an hour until I have to leave for work. But Tim wakes up around 6, 6.15. And when he was still out of work because he hurt his ankle, um, we would sleep until I basically had to roll out of bed. But now, so now that, that he's, he's back. back at work, um, I've been waking up with him a little earlier and putting on his ace bandage just so that like it holds his ankle a little bit better throughout the day and stuff. And I'm finding that when I wake up earlier and I give myself more time to kind of like relax in the morning instead of waking up and you know, brushing my teeth and getting ready and doing this and that and then running out the door, it's putting me in a better mood for like the entire day and it's making me less irritable and all of those things. So I think waking up earlier will help me tremendously um, kind of just start off the day good um, and then maybe once I get into the routine of waking up an hour earlier, I can implement some me time in the morning, maybe take... 10 minutes to kind of sit down and go over my goals for the day or sit down and reflect on yesterday um, or I don't know, do like a meditation video, something just to kind of give me some time to figure out my day, maybe plan my day um, and that type of thing. So I definitely want to weigh myself um, probably weekly. I end up doing daily a lot of the time just because I kind of get a little obsessed over it. But I want to try to start weighing myself 
maybe every Sunday um, or Monday morning, and I will update you guys on the progression of that, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> um, and then just try to do more, what's the word I'm looking for? More um, rewarding things throughout the day. I mean, this does, this part doesn't even have to do with weight loss, but just like, not sit on my phone as much or watch YouTube videos all day, like kind of do things that will help keep me moving throughout the day since I do have a lot of time off in between when I drop the kids I nanny for off at school and pick them up. So those are things that I'm going to be working on for the week. I'm going to try really hard to not stress about those things, um, but still be stern with myself. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So again, if you'd like to join me on this journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, thumbs up this video if this is the kind of content that you guys would like to continue seeing. Wish me luck. Let me know if you have any questions or um, comments on what you think I should be doing or what could help me, any suggestions. I would love to hear them, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.